you learn a lot about Whitaker to think that three pitches in, there's two balls over the fence. You just don't see that. Um, his stuff immediately ticked up. Velocity was better. He got to the secondary pitches, and I think he retired 15 in a row. I think it was. So it just tells you a lot about him. It can't go. I mean, it's hard to have three pitches with that result, like, ever. And he's a tough kid. He's got character. I don't think any of you or anybody in this stadium ever saw him waver or give you any body language that would make you think he was questioning his chances to evade this thing. So that stands out as much as anything. Clearly, the offensive stuff was was good the whole the whole game. Um, the at bats were were solid. I thought Rowan. You, you see flashes of what we see when we deal with this stuff in the preseason. There's more in the tank with him, but that's a power 93, 94, 95 mile an hour freshman left-handed arm with a nice, tight, hard, late breaking ball. So it was good to get him in there. And then that was more of what we had seen out of Tejeda leading up to this. He can still be cleaner. He's coming off of some of the some of the fastballs not staying in his lane real well, but much better today. And um, I'm just proud of the at bat. It's like it, it wasn't a good feeling early in the game. You guys felt it, we felt it, and you know their team last year was spectacular and they handled us. And you, you had a taste of that in the first five minutes of the ball game. So proud of the way the guys responded and opened that game up. Ferrer's grand slam clearly the, the blow that, that opened it up. We were. We were in position to open that game up, but it didn't happen, in my opinion, until until his at bat there. He played a good game in left field. Tibbs in right field was nice, you know, the defense. We didn't have a lot of plays where we punched 13 or 14 guys out, so there wasn't a lot going on, but good enough. I'm proud of the guys. For Whitaker to give up the two home runs and then tie 15 straight, is that just experience, mental toughness? Yes and yes. and. He tried to stabilize everything he was doing on the mound. Like, you almost feel like when that's happening, did they know what was coming somehow? What, had they prepared? You know, everything that we prepare for is available on video. Like, it's not just something you're asking your, the opponents for scouting reports. You see it. So you just need to make sure you're clean with everything you're doing and your grips and your positioning of your glove and then we're doing the right thing behind the plate. And I think that was in play for him, obviously, in the first inning. Like, is there something I'm doing that's tipping this? I don't think it was tipping it, like, with the actual release. I think it, if it was anything, it might have been before. But he stabilized and clearly figured it out on his own. It was, it was good. Double-digit runs, and I believe, five out of the six of your last games. Uh, how good is it? To, for you to see that consistency this early on in the season. If no, you can point to something, you know, what's working? Well, we talked a lot about balance in the lineup. You know, you have a pretty good group of lefties and righties mixed. It's hard when you're pitching. You can't really get into a consistent rhythm because you're not facing three or four righties in a row or three or four lefties. Just the visual and the look and the feel, it gets a little tougher when you have competitive left, right, left, right, left, right, and, and you can jog it. Um, I'd start with that. The guys work really hard at this. We've talked about it before. Like the hours they spend on their offensive game and looking at video and the assistant coaches prepare the scouting report. So we have an idea going into this, like what the arms are going to look like. The work in the cages, you know, we've improved the cages and we've upgraded some of the things we do down there for player development. And you're seeing some of the players develop, which is a huge part of this. Recruiting. Talent acquisition, warfare is part of it. Like you have to try to continue to bring really good athletes in. I think that's a part of it. But it's the holistic body of work that, that these guys set out to accomplish here with their daily work. And it's our responsibility to bring capable guys into the program best we can. He's obviously always had the tools, but how much have you seen Jaime's approach evolve since you've been here? He's very aggressive. Like he's got an aggressive approach and that's dangerous. Clint Hurdle told me when we were back in the minor leagues, he was our hitting coordinator. He said, just remember, a swinging bat's a dangerous bat. It's just kind of a, a little cliche, but he is. It's dangerous. Like, you don't get a lot of freebies when you're on the mound and he's at the plate. 
within that, I think that aggressiveness, he's harnessed some of that and has kept things in the hitting zone a little bit better, less than two strikes. And he's always been a tough two strike hitter, but you just don't want to deal with like too many 0-2 and 1-2 counts by maybe swinging at or fouling off pitches early in the count that maybe you're better off taking. Um, but he's dangerous, he's physical. We talk about this weight room a lot. I bet if you, you checked his strength numbers from day one in this program to where he is right now, he's strong. And he stays in there and stays on the ball, and that's why he does he does damage to all parts of the stadium. Um, so it's been, it's been good to watch that. Cam Smith is on 25 for 50 in the season. You know, 50 at bats hitting. Know that. 50 at bats hitting 500 is kind of ridiculous. You know, for any any level. Yeah, it's hard to do. It's hard to do, and he stays on the ball and stays inside it. And he's chopped some balls to the left side, and when he gets when he gets down the line, like when he opens it up, he can run. So he's had some infield hits. There's just a lot going on, and he has reduced his strikeouts. And when you're that physical and you can run and you have that kind of power, putting it in play is a game changer, and it has changed. We're going to run into some pitching you know, down the stretch that's maybe more familiar with him. So we have some challenges ahead of us, and we have to just continue to fight through pitch by pitch of the at-bat, Cam included, Tibbs included, everybody to continue to just try to maximize your chances every day to go out there and score. We talked about that series last year. Is that, I mean, there's so many guys, so many games in the baseball season. Does that play into just guys, the juice and the, and the dugout going into a game like this, or does it not? Well, that was tough last year. That, their team um, should have been a postseason team. I, I, don't, I don't remember what happened down the stretch. I don't think they, they, well, they should have been. And the arm that pitched against us Woodward and came out of the game. That was a talented arm that started. Like, going back to last year, and they hit 142 home runs. Like, they're tough. And, you know, you go through cycles in your program where some of those guys are drafted and leave, and they still have talented players. Um, it just – we asked them to come out and from pitch one be absolutely locked in knowing what that felt like last year. And we stood in right field a lot last season and talked about, like, just remember how this feels at the end of these games when you're on the wrong side of this and you're on the wrong side of it the next day. And I felt like they, they carried that. And it wasn't easy. Like, this didn't start out when people see the score. It's hard to explain the feeling you had, like, in the first inning of this game. It felt like what happened last year. So it was good, it was nice, and I needed it, and the guys needed it. That, that was a good one. You well's first outing, did you think he just got sped up and amped up, and what did you see different? I did, and he spun off. Like, every miss was basically in the same part of the area, like down, and he was spinning off. It. it was better today. There's more in there. Like, when it lines up and syncs up, it's really special arm talent. But when you spin, that's why he was pulling those fastballs to his glove side. Where today, I think he was on it better. Um, and he's got a good slider. When he stays on that and stays through it, it has a little more bite than some of the ones he backs off of or spins off of. So we know mechanically what he needs to do. He just has to go out and be aggressive and attack and stay with the mechanics that they work on so hard in their drills and bullpens, making sure that you're staying within that. And let the game adrenaline dial things up for you, but you have to stay synced to what you're trying to do when you're in these game settings. Let's do a little more. Gavin posted an update on his Instagram, but I guess just do you have an update on him? Yeah, he had Tommy John surgery, successful. Um, I think this could have happened in the Butler rainout day when he jumped on the mound. Um, unfortunately, that surgery is far too prevalent in our sport. If we can ever, not here, but if we can ever figure this, this thing out, I mean, it's an unfortunate injury that sets guys back. There's different types of procedures now. So the, the timeline of this, you're still looking at the better part of the year for that procedure. Um, and it's unfortunate because you guys never got to see in a game like what that looked like. And he had, he had a lot of good baseball ahead of him. It was making strides in the outings, they were getting a little better and a little cleaner. And I feel I feel awful for him because he put in a lot and there's a lot of good baseball ahead of him. It stinks that he had to clearly go through that. But if there is something to have as a pitcher, 
that's probably the procedure that the industry has figured out. The guys seem sometimes to come back even better. So they'll be okay. 11 nothing on opening day, 11 and 0 now. Man. Eleven's looking down on this and he's loving it. That was that was fun today. I'm, I'm proud of the team. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks. Thank you.